there. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome to my YouTube channel. Its birthday is Thanksgiving Day 2020, or at least that's when I'm filming this. Now, I have to admit, this is a little awkward to be filming right now, mostly because I'm sitting here in our office. This is normally my husband's workspace. I work out of my living room. I have a desk out there, but the football game is on right now. Uh, actually, I think it just ended, but there's a lot going on out there. There's a lot of cats running around um, and my husband's out there. So I feel a little weird in here talking to myself, but honestly, how different is it than when he has to overhear me having conversations with my therapist on our Zoom sessions? <laughs> it's quarantine. We're all right on top of each other. We're pretty used to it. So I decided I wanted to start this channel for a couple of reasons. One is my normal job as a real estate agent. YouTube is actually something that I can do to help boost my business, help get more clients, kind of get my message out there, let people know that I'm available and uh, that I can help with their real estate needs. So part of it is business. The other part is honestly, right now, I've been having kind of a tough time, obviously. I say obviously because it's 2020 and we're all having a tough time. Ever since the pandemic and the lockdown started, I've been spending a lot, a lot, a lot of time inside in my apartment. My life is a little bit out of whack and I'm not getting a lot of the socialization that I normally do. I'm a theater person at heart. I was just about to be in a production of Newsies in New York City with a community theater program right when the pandemic happened and basically all of New York City shut down. So since then, I haven't done any theater. I haven't done much that's very creative. So it's really easy for me to kind of fall into these weird ruts where I'm not getting much done or I feel like at the end of the day, I haven't really done anything useful with my time. <laughs> I just realized that oh, with the black shirt and the red lipstick, this probably looks like really somber. Like I'm here to tell you all about something terrible that's happened. Well, something terrible did happen. I mean, the freaking pandemic happened and a quarter of a million people are dead in the US, but that is not what I'm here to do. So it is a little slow in the real estate world just getting started. I do have days where I have a lot of downtime. I don't wanna work. I just want to bang on this mug all day. Did you ask me here for any specific reason? So I needed to do a little something every day. So even if I'm just talking to myself, I thought I could put those thoughts onto the internet. And maybe somebody out there is somewhat interested in hearing what I have to say or staring at my face. I hope you like looking at my face. I spent a lot of time on my makeup. So my YouTube channel, it's largely gonna be me. It's largely self-serving because I pay for therapy out of pocket, but talking to strangers on the internet is free. So another big part of my channel, especially when it comes to the real estate stuff that I'm going to be talking about, it's really important to me that the people that I meet see me as a person that they can talk to. Hey guys! Oh my God, how are you? Super not great, right? And right now I'm not really able to meet people organically. I'm not able to build my clientele that way. I'm not able to, you know, meet people out of the store at Starbucks or through mutual friends and just have conversations and get to know people naturally. So I'm pretty much just having to lay it all out on the internet and hope that somebody comes along and sees it. I mean, honestly, like sometimes I feel like people just need to know what my face looks like. And like, let's be honest, if I weren't on camera, I would not have on makeup today. But you know what? Having makeup on, I feel so good. Like I feel confident. I feel pretty. Like this is a feeling that I need to channel. Screw it. I'm going to put on makeup and talk to my iPhone for a little while and post it on the internet because God damn it, it makes me feel good. Now, sometimes I feel like I'm gonna wanna talk about stuff that's completely out of the blue. For instance, let me tell you about my fantasy football team. They're driving me crazy. You know what? No, it's not my fault. It, so I'm number four in points overall, but I am 10th in our league. How is that fair? You know what I smell? It's betrayal. No, I'm not crying. This is
Oh my God, I had Saquon Barkley and George Kittle and they're both injured pretty much out for the season. Like, how is this my fault? I did everything I could to draft perfectly. No, no, I'm not even gonna talk about it. I better make sure I have my lineup set because that Washington game's starting really soon. And I think I'm gonna play Dalton Schultz over Logan Thomas, future me. How'd that work out? Not great. Another thing I do a lot of is play The Sims. That's just the dumb thing that I do with my time when I don't have the energy to do anything else. Who knows? Maybe I will include videos of my Sims family and I will be partially a gaming channel. Other major thing that I'm into is cat rescue. So I work with an organization called CPAW. It is a trap neuter return community organization that works on trapping feral cats, getting them fixed and releasing them back out into the world in areas of New Jersey near where I live. So kind of around Essex County, Bloomfield, Cedar Grove, I get to kind of see cats from afar or say hello to them in their little cages while they're waiting. Big thing I do is drive them to their appointments to get fixed. So sometimes I'm gonna wanna talk about that. I have five cats of my own. One of them belonged to my husband before we got married. Uh, but yeah, no, I came into this marriage with four cats. So this is partially my fault. But um, right on cue, buddy, right on cue. I was talking about you. That's Ezio. He likes to talk. But my cats are a real big part of my life. So there might be some cat content. If I'm being perfectly honest, I don't fully know what this channel is going to be yet. At least at this point in time, fall, Thanksgiving, 2020, I'm a little less interested in trying to get a lot of subscribers. Now I am interested in subscribers. <laughs> Basically, I just don't want to put the cart before the horse. If this becomes something where my real estate related videos are doing really well and people want to see more of that, I will gladly do videos on only real estate. If my cat content gets a ton of views, hopefully the potential clients that want to work with me in real estate really like cats. Who knows? Honestly, like at this point, I just don't know. like I might be revealing too much. It feels like I might be kind of shooting myself in the foot by just saying everything that's on my mind. But I am just going to be as honest as possible, as forthcoming as possible about what's going on with me and just who I am. And if people are into that, then that's great. I hope that people watch my channel and think, wow, she's kind of weird. I kind of want to be your friend. I just want to make friends. I get to see so few faces nowadays that getting to see a different face, getting to be a different face, just have conversations with people, even if those conversations are super one-sided because it's just me and my camera. I think that's gonna be really good for my mental health and I hope it's good for other people's mental health as well. So YouTube is a, it's a saturated market. There are so many YouTubers out there who are doing the same thing I'm doing and are probably doing it better than me, but I don't need to be the best. I don't need to be the best real estate YouTuber. I don't need to have the most subscribers, the most likes on my videos. Obviously that would be great because once you get a lot of subscribers and a lot of clicks, you start making money. I'm hoping that I can just offer something unique. I can offer something that's a little bit different, a little bit more personalized, that brings a little bit of me and a little bit of my character and kind of what I'm about. I like people, places, and things. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing from me. Just a uh, random gal from New Jersey trying to make it in this crazy world. Uh, if you like my video, a thumbs up is really appreciated and a subscribe is even better. And I hope to see you back here on my channel for future content about real estate, cats. Maybe I'll finally get to talk about my fantasy team and describe to you all the ways in which the NFL has really ruined my life this fall. Anyway, bye. Oh my God, did I never say my name? Oh my, hi. Oh my God. I am Christine Moore. What am I doing? God.